Hey everybody, it's Cyborg. I am joined by Temp, and we have issue number nine of year four. So thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for tuning in through all these episodes. Thanks for sticking with us here. If you have not watched the previous episodes and the previous issues, definitely go check out those first because there's spoilers throughout the entire series, and we're talking full spoilers here. So go watch. Start at the beginning. Year one, year two, fantastic stuff. Year three, fantastic just go start at the beginning if you haven't already. Go watch them all. Take your time. We're putting them out daily, but that doesn't mean you have to stay, you know, watch them all daily. Binge watch them on the weekend. Do what you got to do, but come back to the issue when you're ready. And if that time is now, then hey, like the video, subscribe. We're glad to have you. Let's jump into it right now. All right. So, year four, issue number nine. We start off on a boat. On a boat. And the boat is carrying Harley, Billy, and Hippolytia. Yeah. Wonder Woman's I, I remember the character. I just can't remember the name. Yeah. Um, and all three of them are on a boat, so they're wondering where they're going. And it looks like they're going towards to the, the uh, what is it, the, something of the damned, right? Oh, yeah. the Dungeon of the Damned, they say. The Dungeon of the Damned, they're taking over to the Tartarus. That's right, yeah. And there's, like, dead bodies in the sea. Everything's all red and disgusting. I mean, everything... I mean, it's it's basically hell, so to speak, or it's interpretation of hell to, to an extent. But, yeah, there's just skeletons and dead bodies and zombies in the water, and everything's just disgusting. But, yeah, we kind of leave off there, and they're on their way to that. But then we jump ahead... Or jump forward to the Themyscira part, and we continue on there. It looks like Kate, also known as Batwoman, is sitting there eating along with Catwoman. And they're eating along with the Themyscirians, the Amazons. And they don't seem to be too happy to have them there, but hey, what are you going to do? All of a sudden, you know, no time for feelings, because Batgirl comes running and say, Hey, come outside, quickly! There's a giant wave outside that's going to kill us all. She's right about it. There, yeah. there is indeed a wave. Indeed. Indeed there is. Absolutely. 100%. That will kill them. And so Batman and Wonder Woman are trying to figure out what to do. Um, Wonder Woman goes up and immediately you know, starts talking to Poseidon while Batman tries to think of a way to save everyone, so to speak, that's back that could potentially die from this wave if it were to crash. It is being held in place right now by Poseidon as more of a warning, a power play, so to speak. So we're trying to figure out what's his angle, so to speak. So the wave is actually being held in place. Um, we have Hermes and Wonder Woman trying to talk to him. And he says, no, you know what? Zeus has gone far enough and I don't like it. And then we see Superman's on his side as well, as we knew. And because he he does his little eye laser beams, the heat vision that knocks Hermes and not sure who the angel dude is. Forget his name. Poor guy. Ah, uh, fuck. I tip of my tongue, man. I think Icarus, but I, I don't think it's Icarus. I don't know. It who... wasn't Icarus. I remember the, 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 the panel where it named all of yeah. them Atlas, Artemis. And... There was Apollo in there somewhere. There's who knows. <laughs> Mercury? Mercury? Is it Mercury? I don't think so. If it was, they didn't call him that. Okay, well, either way, we'll move on. doesn't matter. And <laughs> we'll keep going. Uh, Superman, yes, he explains why he's working with him, because Wonder Woman's not too thrilled about this. Um, she feels like she's being betrayed by him. Then we cut to Batman. He's in the tent having a conversation with Aquaman. <laughs> he's having like a nice <laughs> little chit-chat, chit and he wants Aquaman's help, but Aquaman turns him down. And says, sorry, we're going to stay down here. I can't get involved. I really, you know, if I never saw the surface again, no big deal. But then, as, as he ends the call with Batman, he does turn to Mera. And she seems a little bit scared and worried. So that's where we leave them <laughs> off. I like this, because his face says it all. Because she says, Batman again? Should we be worried? And Aquaman's face is just like, it's Batman. What the fuck do you think? Yes, we should be worried. Like, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so good stuff there. And then we cut back to Superman talking to Wonder Woman. They get in a tissy because, yeah, obviously he's potentially leading 
a bunch of her families and tribes death <laughs> with this ginormous wave even if it is just a power play and that's what he tries to explain to her that you know it's just it's it's war games it's a power play we're not really going to do it we're uh, um, basically hoping that this is a statement and that Zeus will stand down um, but Wonder Woman's not okay with this and she immediately strikes him in the face and Poseidon gets hit by an arrow Little Piece goes flying off though finds the Kents and hits <laughs> Pa Kent once again. This guy can just... He was surfing in the background on his vacation. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, I mean, that's a oh. running gag. You gotta... <laughs> you I gotta like appreciate it. it. I look forward to every arrow. Yeah, every I know arrow. what's coming. Every arrow is a good arrow. Not for Pa Kent, though. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, and we move on. As he gets struck by the arrow... The wave is actually going to be let go, and Superman and Wonder Woman see this, and they both yell out no, but right before it crashes down on everyone, it's stopped. And he says, no more. Poseidon says, who dares defy the god of the beast? The beast, not the beast. That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> god of the seas. My eyes. My eyes. God okay. of the bees sounds pretty fucking bees. badass. That sounds yes. fucking tough. God of the bees. <laughs> They're in his eyes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but it is none other than Namor. No. It's Aquaman with Mera in tow. Undertow. Okay, Aquaman says, Gods be damned, you've incurred the wrath of Atlantis. So we're bringing them to the fight. That is the end of that chapter. We move on to the next one here. Ares exp is um, explaining something, yada, yada, yada. He's just going on back and forth. Soon we will both get what we want. Harpiter, Harpiter, my pleasure. He's basically talking to somebody. We're not really sure who he's talking to. Somebody in hell. It's gotta be Hades. Like I, I just yeah, I mean that would make the most sense. It's all fiery and not earth. <laughs> I just yeah, like I that. Like... Comment on that. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, we don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's just not earth. And as they were alluding to, well, actually, they're not alluding to because we haven't gotten to that part yet in this issue. But um, jumping ahead of myself, but he has a tracking device, as we find on him, and Lex Luthor has been tracking him. And he's been reporting to Batman saying, you know what? Ares is playing everyone. Batman says, yes, I know. He's working with both sides. Yes, I know. <laughs> like, he's, I expected this. Um, he is the god of war. He's in it for himself. I, I know about this. But Lex re reassures or reaffirms the fact that, you know, he's he's playing Superman and that there is there is a bigger picture here. And he's a little concerned because I don't know the extent of a god's powers, but he is teleporting all over the damn place from Earth to God's no God, God's no to God's nowhere. Oh, I <laughs> get it. Oh boy, woo! Good one, Lex. You deserve a Jolly Rancher for that one. Let me just put that in your mouth. Hold on, just. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay. It's cherry. But that's it. It's cherry, your favorite. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> I wish I really had one to do that. That's not good. I don't. So, let's just move on. <laughs> so, Batman, um, yeah, he's wondering if it's some kind of machine or what's going on, what Ares is up to. But, yes, you, uh, Hades is a great guess. We jump outside, though, the tent because Batman's hearing screams from outside because people are probably dying by this point. Batman's still in the tent, just riding it out, talking to Lex as the wave comes crashing down and everyone dies. It really He's shows how impotent here. Batman has become. His only strategy is to go back in a tent and start Skyping everyone who <laughs> thinks he might be able to help. Like, yes. He's still spreading. He's still trying to convince people that he's not Bruce Wayne. He's just like, <laughs> no, -uh, not really Bruce Wayne. It's all lies, photoshopped. Anyways, so we cut back to the wave, and Aquaman and Poseidon are going back and forth about who's better, and Wonder Woman's jumping in here as well. Wonder Woman gets angry. She yells at Poseidon, 
Poseidon says no more talking, and then he slaps her with his trident, which looks pretty cool actually. And yeah. Superman gets upset as she goes down into the water. Superman dives in after her. Aquaman goes in for the tackle. We cut back to Batwoman, Batgirl, and not Batwoman because she's a cat woman. And the other gods, including including Hermes and stuff, I think. So many names. I know, there's a lot it's of people. It's hard, man. <laughs> I know these guys. Well, I'm really struggling with the gods. I know the superheroes, yeah. but it's like, who are all these gods? I know Greek mythology to a point, but anyways. Well, even the fucking characters we do know are all fucking, like, <laughs> bat, cat, woman, girl, just fucking... Yeah, I know. so hard, man. <laughs> I know. First world problems. Okay, we're back. Just get that tear out of my eye. Okay. They mentioned once again, if that wave hits, we need to make sure we get all the people out of here. Batman's now apparently up at his bat plane. He's just like, <laughs> he's going from the he's going from the tent, and now he's up in the bat plane. Like, yes, I see a mountain. <laughs> I see two mountains, and there's a pathway in between. If we can get him back there, so yeah, he's all over the place. This guy is putting in overtime. <laughs> like, just he's doing everything. He has like five clones of himself. It is the movie Multiplicity. Which makes sense because they are both played by Michael Keaton. Yes, good movie. Yes, we're gonna go eat a dolphin. No, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna pet a dolphin. Did you bring me a monkey? Okay. Anyways, movie references. So yes. that's their plan. They're gonna go try and move all of the Themyscirians back behind the mountains to escape the giant wave of water, which. I mean, if Poseidon really wanted to, he could just move the wave of water <laughs> behind the mountain <laughs> and then let it go crashing down. So, I mean, the plan is only so good. <laughs> like, I could just see them spending hours getting behind the mountains, and then Poseidon's just, like, waiting for them. <laughs> He's like, what, you... I mean, I can control this. You understand my powers, right? Like, I can control where it goes. <laughs> um, no one expects two tidal waves. <laughs> yes. <laughs> anyways aquaman and poseidon are in a full-on battle they go back and forth poseidon stabs him in the shoulder mara punches him and they're going back and forth once again superman saves wonder woman she's ca ca coughing up the water they have a fun little back and forth that i'll read off here she says unhand me clark you don't get to betray me and save me in the same breath I didn't betray you. Then you allowed yourself to be manipulated again. And look at the consequence. All of this has to end. I love, I love that line. Then you have allowed yourself to be manipulated again. Damn, that is just yeah. Superman burn number like 90. This Ugh. is good stuff. Now from Wonder Woman. She's just going in. And I love his like facial expression after yeah, this comment. Yeah, it's He's pretty like, sad. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's not it's tears it's puppy. just the, it's not tears it's just the water from my face <laughs> it's my eyeballs it's the salt water you know it gets yeah. in your eye you get red eye salty yeah, red eye and uh maybe he should have kept his eyes closed like she told him to zinger <laughs> whoa okay yep innuendo we go back to mira fighting poseidon he gives her a whack across the face pal right in the kisser straight to the moon and she kind of like reach you know she kind of holds her face in pain and he starts mocking her saying that you know i thought you'd be more of a challenge than that and as like mid-sentence he gets pulled under the water by aquaman who starts immediately owning him and it says is this enough a challenge for you which i'm i don't know if he really heard him say that because logically if he was still under the water when poseidon was talking to mera it probably sounded more like <laughs> but I mean, it's just science yeah yes it's uh it's enough but he that's one of his powers is he doesn't abide by the rules of science he stabs him with a trident that an octopus handed him and then he feeds him to a giant shark yes that actually happened and it was a great thing to explain so he basically does his super from the video game. Yeah, he blows game, four right? bars of meter <laughs> off Poseidon. 
this. <laughs> Instead, he's no longer doing the combo breaker. Yeah, he's just our clash. He's all about the super now for a good amount of damage. This uh, Mara is holding the wave, but she's struggling. And I do want to point out the water horses. Fantastic. Yes, I Great agree. imagery. I love that. Because, um, yes, for those that can't actually see it, on the top of the wave, there is the shape of four horses out of made out of the water. So it actually looks pretty good in the comic. And Mara is struggling to hold on. It's just too powerful. So the whole wave is coming, crashing down. And that's where we are left off, is the wave has consumed those closest to it, but we don't know of the fate of everyone else. So... Good issue. Yeah, I'm still confused about the Harley Billy Batson thing. I don't. Do you remember Billy Batson dying? No. Left. Let's la, back. Last we left off was Zeus saying that he was going to punish Billy, starting with Billy. But that was only if Superman didn't surrender. So I don't know how he got down there, but that's that's what happened. I mean, Harley makes sense. And Hippolytia makes sense, but I guess they took Billy and that was that. He's like, you it, must surrender, yeah. and also I'm taking Billy here. So I don't know. So that was weird. I mean, it, it, I like the dynamic. I, oh, those yeah. three work well together, in my opinion. Yes. Um, Aquaman stuff was good. I, it, it, it feels a little, felt a little rushed, but I like that's fine. Like this is a this is a type of rushed I can get behind just because. The, the show must go on, so right. I, I get it. Right. Mira's art... I feel like every woman has the same nose in this comic. Uh, that doesn't look like Mira at all to me. Um, I feel like she has Batgirl's nose. <laughs> uh, but I don't know. You seen that? Uh, let me look at it again. Like, Mira traditionally has very sharp features. Well... You know, very pointed features. I mean, maybe I haven't seen the right shots that you're referring to but her nose does look pretty pointy in the ones that i'm looking at i don't know well the one i'm thinking of is the skype one where they're skyping atlantis okay let me go back to that one because so i was looking at the second chapter actually and her nose looked a little bit more it's page pointy. six or seven or something yeah, like that. i'm getting there i'm getting there yeah it still looks still looks sharp to me i feel like it's flattened on the front why the hell are we talking about this? <laughs> this is like this is a completely pointless discussion. <laughs> like analyzing and picking apart the way her nose is structured. It doesn't even look bad. It's just whether it looks like Mara or not based on the nose. Well, I mean, I, I guess, I mean, that covers it. I mean, that, that is the gist of it, but... Um, yeah, other than that... uh. The Aquaman, I mean, I really wish I had more to say than the Aquaman stuff was cool, but that's really the issue. Like, that, that's yeah. pretty much everything that happened. It's great to see him. I mean, we've yeah. hardly seen him in this series, and yeah, it's uh, it's great to see him again. And it's great to see Mara, actually, as well. Yeah, I agree. I, I like Mara a lot as a character. See, so, yeah, I think that's why I enjoyed the issue so much. I like the Harley stuff with Billy and Hippolytia in the beginning, um, even though it was brief, and I like the interplay between wonder woman poseidon and superman as well as some batman in there some funny moments of batman in the tent yeah. and then i'm up in the plane and yeah all the aquaman and mara badass stuff as well just seeing them again so all around yeah a very decent issue one of the better ones of the year for sure yeah it was good um i don't know though i i have a couple of favorites so far so we'll see how it contends later but yeah so far so good Indeed. But that pretty much wraps it up for this issue. We'll have to see, you know, um, in issue 10 of year four, where it goes from here. How do they survive the giant wave? What happens with Billy and the gang and Harley? How do they get themselves out of this one? We'll have to find out next time on the same bat time, same bat channel. You guys take care. Peace.